Gonna get some black seatbelt or red seatbelt for me. Go over a race car. Why would I put red seatbelt? <laughs> I can do it. Hey guys, we're back today. We're gonna be working on the old goat. Here she be. We uh. Well, I picked up a set of limited seats for this thing. It's a 2013 base model with the uh, console, just some Carhartt seat covers for the cloth seats. All manual, no power, uh, single bench seat. I picked up a uh, limited rear seats and front seats. Uh, nothing for a console yet, but the limiteds, it's got a 60-40 back, so we got to stick some extra bolts there. Here's the seats out of a 2016. Um, really good condition, actually. The guy had him in his uh, fourth gen base model as well. He swapped them in, but I guess he switched to fifth gen seats. We're gonna see if we can get these in. And over here, we got us a limited dash as well. So we're gonna stick that in. I got the cluster and everything. Let's get to it. First step of the whole project, take these old seats out. We got uh, four bolts. I took that one out. Over. Another one back here. And there, same thing on that side. One there, one there. Front seats. There should be two at the back. Underneath the seat cover or uh, floor mat here. There's one there, one there. Two up front here, right there and there. And then there's going to be a couple bolts sideways for the uh, sixth seat, the jump seat. Let's get these ripped out, and we'll get back to you. <laughs> I can do it. One eternity later. Okay, so it's been a couple weeks and uh, didn't manage to get any film putting the seats in. So we got them in. Don't mind all the junk. I'm still, I still got this center console. Got a or, uh, jump seat. Gotta find a leather one. I missed. Um, you're missing two bolts here. One here and one there. Whenever you do the swap, because the old seat didn't use those, and you got to do take off two back there. I forgot to mention two back there. Um, so rear seats are in. Nothing's wired yet. I got to get the wiring kit, but didn't want them sitting around the shop, I'm getting messed up before I can install them. Um, yeah, I mean they look really nice in here. I've been driving it for a couple of weeks. Pretty comfy. Still got to put those up. Oh, on the back. I forgot to put these little plastic panels in. The other side's. Uh, still on the other seat, so make sure you put those on before you swap the seats because it's a real pain in the ass when they're in the truck. And then uh, I guess we're going to get to ripping out the dash now. It's just a bunch of screws, pop some panels off, and we'll get back to you when it's out. Okay, so got the dash out. A little bit of a pain, but uh, you know, it's done. It takes two people to lift it out. Uh, I had to drop the steering wheel. All kinds of fun shit. Back seat's just full of all the parts. Um, you know, we got two clusters here. I was testing out that one. Um, just had to swap some parts over from my dash, my old dash to my new dash. Doing that. Tie up some wires. Just some stuff I got going on under the dash. Uh, and then I'm going to throw the new dash in. And screw that all in. Let's get to it. We got the cluster I'm going to be installing today. It's all cracked. It came out of a uh, wreck truck. I'm going to make sure it works first and then I can just order the, uh, the cover piece here as long as it all works. I got, I picked up this box. Um, I got this, the bezel. This one's a wood one. I was hoping, uh, let's pop this out. I'll show you what's going on. I got the limited one here. Okay, this is just uh, like for your six speed swap or, you know, with a cup holder, what I already have. I just wanted the bezel out of it. Doesn't hurt to have a few extra parts. Got this one out of a limited, right? 
It's got the nice a little, a little bit of sawdust on it. That's what I wanted. I wanted this piece. Uh, you can see they're just a little bit different gray. Not a real big deal. Uh, what I noticed though, I was gonna swap actually this piece into this one and make that uh, work for mine. Realize after the bottom is different. You can see the way this lip is. This one's smooth. Like obviously this corner is different. So I'm going to swap all my stuff into this one, and I guess I'm going to run the wood grain in mine. Um, I think that's about it for what we're going to do today. Just uh, a little bit of time crunch here, and then hopefully get some editing done. Uh, so we're going to put the inverter in here, swap my piece in, put my radio in, and then put my four-wheel drive uh, selector in, and then we'll throw this in the truck, and we're going to take apart the old one, throw that in, and reprogram it. Uh, let's get right to it. Should just be two screws under here, I believe. I guess we'll find out. So now, just a couple things to unplug. Oh God, that's dude. I'll get those unplugged and pop this right out. That right down here. That is your uh, inverter plug, so we're gonna plug that in. I still gotta get the uh, inverter and all that shit wired, but uh, it'll all be ready whenever it comes in. Here's all three side by side. So we're gonna take the radio piece out, stick it in this one, uh, take these out, throw them in there too. I need this as well. And then we're taking the inverter from the limited one, just slapping it in there. Like the plug, you know. uh, let's make three into one now. final uh, product. I mean, overall, I think it looks pretty good. Someday it will move up to that radio. We'll get there someday, boys. But for now, this will do. back together I mean it looks a little out of place just for being wood and nothing else is I still got the basic doors I'm uh, gonna switch those out someday um, but for now I mean looks a hell of a lot better than the plastic did uh, let's go down to the dash now or the cluster just the four screws and pop that out okay so I got the uh, the bezel out right there the bezel uh, and first I need the hours off this thing. I got 18 idle and 3,600 driving. Um, I don't know why the idle's so low. When I bought the truck, it only had 10 on it. So there's that. Um, but anyway, see, uh, I got my blue point scanner here. And it says I have 43 hours, 44, and 36, 76. So I don't know if my old cluster's just messed up, but uh, we're gonna program it to these numbers. Um, so I'm just gonna swap the cluster real quick, just the two bolts down there now, and throw the limited one, and then we'll get to programming it. Got the new cluster in, uh, time to program it. Uh, I forgot to mention the last part, make sure you write down your mileage as well. I took a picture of it, probably the easiest thing to do. Uh, um, here's what we're gonna be using today. We're gonna be using the OBD Link MX Plus. It's a really nice box. It comes in this little bag here. Set that to the side. 
see if we can get this one-handed. Oh. Damn, that looks good. Just plug that right in the OBD too, and then you'll need uh, Alpha OBD on your computer, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I already programmed it just because I didn't want to do that on camera because I never played with OBD2 before. So uh, I'll just show you what I did. There's lots of other videos on YouTube, probably a lot better quality. Um, I guess probably watch theirs instead. I can, I'll just give you a quick rundown, but a lot more information available on this, even on the forums. Okay, so I, uh, as you can see, I got my mileage. Um, I got my hours all programmed as well. They all came across. Um, damn. You will get some funky stuff like this whenever you reprogram it. You're just gonna have to go back and reset your oil life and fuel filters and trips because when you reprogram it, it kind of acts weird. Um, so we'll go into OBD t or uh, Alpha OBD here. You go start, click whatever year yours is. Mine's a 13, RAM, body computer, and then you hit connect. I'll just disconnect and show you everything. Connect, and then uh, it'll say up here, connected. Go to. Sorry, I said that wrong. We go to instrument cluster. I was messing around with the body control module. That's what happened there. Instrument cluster in that menu, and then it says we're connected already. Oh, here we go. Honestly, who gives me a computer? Let's see if I can do this a little better for you guys. Obviously isn't my finest work, but uh, you win some, you lose some. Okay, so we have odometer correction down here. Um, you enter your mileage, or your old mileage you had. Obviously, this is just for uh, resetting this for legal purposes. Um, the only thing, if you're in Canada, is you'll be in kilometers, and if you enter that here, obviously you're gonna have to enter that in miles, so go on Google, and you gotta use an exact uh, conversion, otherwise you'll get a different number in your dash. So then you do that, and then you would choose whatever cluster you have here. And then you should just hit start, and then it should be good there. And then there's one for your hours as well in here. Oh yes, your hours, lifetime and idle. Um, that's under program customer features. Whenever I did that, I got that all working, the hours and the kilometers. Um, I ended up with, let's see here. You can see my tire pressure lights on. We're gonna have to work on that one still. If you have the service tire pressure system. Um, from the reading I've done, that's because my truck's a 13, and the cluster is a 16, I believe, 15, 16. We're still going to work on that one, because other people have said just buy a new cluster, which I don't really feel like spending the cash on, or I will just run it like this. And then we have a brake light out which both of my brake lights working but apparently my high one on top of the roof there apparently that one's out so that might be the issue um that's from the intake i put on i gotta get that tuned oh we're gonna change the seat here i got a new center console here this one's just you know pretty basic oh, lots of papers uh, oh i already pulled this out and i already got all the bolts out of the seat i'll show you the new one i got this is the new one I got. You gotta stay active, kids. Uh, this is the one. I picked this up for 50 bucks on PGG, which is the Canadian Craigslist. It flips up, and it's got the underneath storage, which is what I wanted. Uh, I'll have to get this wrapped in leather after. It's the only thing I have to do to it. And uh, I'm gonna switch this out to the 2018 style for whenever I upgrade my radio. Try and run the fifth gen back on here with the heated button or heated seat buttons 
and two USBs. I gotta see if those work. I think they will. Let me see if I can find a truck on the dealer's lot that I can look at this and just see if these are in the same spot. Um, let's get this installed. Okay, got the seat out. Um, airbag stuff. Don't play with that. Got her all vacuumed quick. Uh, I had to unbolt that seat, slide it over, that we could get it out. Here we got two seats side by side. This is the old one, dirty, full of junk. Um, it's got the one cigarette lighter, USB in the auxiliary. Uh, that's pretty much all that's to it. You got your three plugs underneath the driver's seat. Same thing with this one. This one's out of a 2016 I found out. I think I left the sticker on it. 2016. Uh, oh, I got a VIN number too. That might come in handy. Uh, I had to swap the seatbelt over. That's the only thing I had to swap over. This one's got the uh, uh, SD card. Uh, I don't know what I need that for, but I have an SD card now. I can put music on that. Don't know how that works. Um, I'm going to take the one with the worst top. My buddy's buying that one and my original seats. So I'm going to get this rewrapped anyway, so you better thank me for that. Uh, and you can see the front. That's the only difference is this one has the handle. Uh, for the fifth gen part. Got to change this, like this back piece. Oh, that didn't sound good. And then this pl piece of plastic underneath. I'm hoping I can get that to work and maybe just make my own little harness to run my two... Um, heated seat buttons and then the USB on the fifth gen look really nice passengers like that uh, let's get this thrown in and I think that should be everything got her all installed it's working minty here she be papers potty papers locks in I need to clean that don't mind that got everything transferred over Looks really nice in there. I mean, it looks the same as the old one, but to you and I, it looks good. Um, yeah, don't uh, go too wild. Oh, Jesus. Drop that. With the old uh, Ugga Dugga. I broke a bolt. For red right there. Luckily, able to extract it. Got her drilled straight as an arrow. Um, yeah, that was just me being lazy and dumb. Anyways, uh, I think that's everything. I think that's everything for today. Have a good one.